Hey, it's the Chief Bonding with Board Games, and you're like, hey, what are we talking about today? Zombie side? That's old. Yeah, it is. What we're really talking about is a storage solution from Broken Token. Um, I like Zombie Side Early Adopter. I've got one, two, and three. The expansions that come with it. So you got the regular Zombie Side. You got Prison Outbreak. And then you got Rue Morgue. And all I was ever really playing was the basic deal with just the vanilla stuff because I always had a box somewhere. I actually had two boxes with different stuff in it. Now nah, I don't want to go unpack that. And at BGG Con, I saw Broken Token. And I was like, wow, I like their storage solution for this. Now, I got the three pack, but these are about $40 a piece. And I was like, wow, do I really need to spend $110, I think is what the three pack is for this? Well, let me go show you. I'm gonna let you take a peek inside these. I haven't done the third one yet. It takes a little bit of time. It's a little, it's almost like painting minis, but organizing your games i'll let you take a look at it then uh we'll just roll back and i'll tell you how well they work or don't all right so broken token it does that so you can see all right coffee hello keeps me going um we've got my two that i've actually gotten the pack into and the one i haven't so just real quick, I'm not going to unzip this, but you can see it's unzip, cut open. You can see there's a lot of wood in there. It is actually pretty heavy. This even has a weird deal that allows you to have like a helicopter that moves around and actually holds the guys. Eh, okay. I'm more interested in the storage solution. We'll see how that works. But I want to show you first how it kind of comes. So you can see... I've just got Ziploc here. Okay, I'm going to be using mostly all that stuff. Then you got your rules and just kind of hanging out. All right. And then I've kept it all in its kind of container. So this is all your zombies. If I can even get it out, my heroes are in here. And all I would normally do would be to open this up slide it out and they did a pretty good default you can see how they're all kind of packed and that's not bad all right but as much as you got to have it in order to keep everything kind of containered and my cards and everything right down to the dice that are in here it's just i don't know it's kind of messy and like i said it didn't really facilitate i don't have any of the angry neighbors stuff in here at all um, I, the box isn't even on my shelf over there. I think I have the box with all the extras sitting underneath, I don't know, a storage thing somewhere. So therein lies the problem. So you got all this cool stuff, eye candy, and it was kind of like, well, you know, do I want to pop it open? Do I want to play this? I got to ship this around. All right. So what is the fix even there that would bug me all right i didn't flatten those tokens down enough and the box is bulging all right functionally the trays or the wooden trays and things that are in here are almost identical for both i'm going to just go in which is another thing i like by the way everything feels similar i'm just going to open and show you what's in prison outbreak primarily because instead of just being gray the uh I don't have, uh, the figs are painted in my other one, but I'm going to show you the zombies in this one are toxic and everything else. So they show up that, and you can see that this is fitting both the toxic city mall and prison outbreak. So you've got a lot in here. The box is very heavy. So right off the bat, you can see you've got these lift out storage solutions. So I need walkers, toxic walkers. Boom, they're setting out here. All right, I've got this extra tray that I can kind of put anything in i've got my big heavies in here my abominations and i've also got uh berserker i forget sorry i'm forgetting what the brown ones are but boom everything just lifts out here's something i really like so the the cards now i've got my dice kind of in here by the way i'm not sure what i put in this one maybe that's extra cards well i like throwing the dice in there so they roll out got my little special uh uh, turn marker, but these this sits down on the table like so. Let me get that out of the way. And you can literally just draw the cards you need. So this can be, hey, okay, I've searched, I found a bat, 
or it's also your discard. Now currently for setup, I actually have like Molotov cocktails and different things that are special weapons that are down here. I'd probably just pull them out, put them over here or whatnot. But this is so great because you're up and running. There's no bags to undo. There's no card protectors. Boom, you're up and you're running. I dump my dice out, we're good to go. And that just sits so nicely. But here, let me show you, this is a dual tray. So in here, there's little things on the bottom that allow you to just pop these cards up and out. And in between, you've got a bunch of your uh, rubble and your vehicles. So everything sits, there's a nice divider here that allows all these expansion cards. So these are all your different survivors, reverse sides, the abomination. And I just have a ton of them just sitting in there. And they're just so easy to flip out. Hey guys, pick whoever you want. There they are. Then this tray here has one, it has this pull out easy to go. So I've got my noise tokens and I've got my little paper clip deals. I don't know if you can see them in there. Uh, that'll that allow you to just uh, show your experience. And here's all these heroes. Here's some more heroes. They're all just sitting there. Here's all my doors. Here's all my objective points. Here's all my spawn locations, miscellaneous barricades. Everything just sits here and I can just hand this tray out. They can even pass it around, look at the different figures they want to use. So again, they've done some nice little art. Again, I've got all my regular walkers just sitting in this one. Again, comes out on the table, just sits there. Everything lifts out runners so that you can simply get to it easily and nicely. Here's all my fatties. All right, everything comes out. I've got a little abomination tucked over here. I don't know, maybe I should put my little start marker. All right, right down to your cards, there's little, I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, there's little windows or little gaps so you can get underneath your boards and pop them out and just get access to them. And everything fits so, so nicely. So you got some huge rubble, all right? And that is it. Boom, and when you go to put it back, flip, 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 done, done. The, what it's done to open up play, just, it's more easily accessed. All right, they work phenomenally. You've kind of seen it as I showed you. The key is being able to set it up within seconds. This is a harder game to get on the table because you got to put your maps together, figure out your scenario, figure out who's playing with what hero, where's their card, you know, get everything kind of set up. Okay, you pull out your zombies, they're there. I used to have them in plastic bags, which worked okay. But now I've got all my heroes in a tray. The tray is ready to go. The cards are all ready to go. There's no unpacking really of anything other than just pulling out and putting on the table. That's why I spent the money on it. And it's already been coming to the table more often. Um, there's heroes now that are in here that I'd never even played with. Uh, I hadn't even unshrunk the boxes because I don't know, I had enough and why well, go through the trouble? Now they're ready to go, ready to go. So it's an expensive, expensive storage solution, but they're expensive games. And I have a buddy of mine that has this Tupperware thing and all these different Planos, but even that sometimes is a chore. This is open and go. I showed him this and he was like, wow, it all fits in the box and the expansion. Mm-hmm. Makes it easy to play. And I gotta be honest with you, as I get less and less time, 13 years until retirement, I need something that's easy to break out and get into, and then easy to put away. Chief, Bonnie with board games. Denver Broncos, Super Bowl champs, sorry. All right.